Hi everybody. So it's just past dinner. So we're just starting with a quick tour of the Acanthus and Senate. So this is your walkway in. You've got security to your left hand side. So you've got parking. If you do hire a car, you've also got parking in here as well. Or if you're on foot, it's quite easy. There's plenty of taxis. Not very expensive either. So we'll take you through and see what happens. So this is the entrance to the Acanthus and Senate. As you can see, they are a full five star. They've got the certificate of safe tourism keep winning awards uh, you've got this option to walk through you might turn into Superman or Supergirl you never know but this entrance leads you straight into reception there's always somebody on reception it is 24 hours a day just before you check in, especially if there's a queue, you've got the option of getting yourself a drink. There's some lovely displays. There's some great seating. Some very funky seating actually. Now when you first walk in, You've got this option here, which will show you exactly where you need to go. Sorry about the, uh, the sun and the shadows. So just depending on which side of the hotel you're in, it's easy to follow. So as you're walking, you're actually on floor zero. Just there where the black doors are, that's the entrance to your lifts for the left-hand side of the hotel. Just going to take a walk down this side so the hotel itself is very much shaped like a V as you can see that's the pool outside which we will go and visit so just past the uh, in reception you've got guest relations Hi! As you can see, plenty of awards on that back wall. And just last year, we've got the 2022 Special Award. Even me being an old Thomas Cook rep, they still have those as well. It's really nice to see. You've got all your information just across from guest relations. So when it's your transfers or anything like that, just depending on what which company you're with, you can come and get that info. You've also got info for your excursions as well, which you can speak to guest relations for. Yeah, right. very friendly staff. Now, just as you walk past guest relations, you've got kids club. So, normally they do have times out here, but you can easily get those on the Canvas and Senate app. So definitely bring your phones with you, because they have free Wi-Fi, and you can get it pretty much everywhere around the hotel. So we're just walking down this way. So we've just walked back up and luckily they've just actually put the signs out for Kids Club. So that gives you the breakdown of today or every Wednesday to Saturday, Kids Showing Mini Club and the Bubble Family Show.
Now, I don't know what it is, because luckily for the change, me and Georgina have no uh, child with us. So that's great. So I'll uh, carry on and catch up with you in a bit. Here's the start of the rooms. Now, one of the things that I do like is once you get inside your room, you've got a couple of switches that you can click to say you're either sleeping or you want maid service. So it's really easy to let them know. Also, you'll have seen that it's got a blue light. When you are in your room, it actually turns red. So they know when you're in there. Just here to right, you've got your lifts. You've also got your stairway as well, just to side up lifts. So you do come out exactly the same place. Maid service is every day. There's not once we've not walked in our room after going down for breakfast. And everything is put back. Bed made. It's lovely. Got a little separate area here. Nice seated area. As you probably a Georgina, you do have a separate guy. You'll keep coming back and restocking your, your mini bar, which even in the room that we're in, you don't pay anything for it. So as you can see, plenty of rooms <clears throat> you don't need to bring shampoo or anything with you they uh, they consistently restock everything so this is the end of the corridor and then the corridor does end like this yep yeah. and then we're gonna head back down and go around the other side so we'll catch up with you hi hi so guys this is uh, a family room so you've got entrance to your bathroom there. You've got separate beds. Partitioned off with a door. And they're just redoing it. So you've got everything in here as well. Entrance out onto your balcony. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at a family room. And this is a quadruple option for your wardrobe. Just trying to cover as many rooms for you as possible. Right guys, so this is one of the 360 suites here at the Acanthus and Senate. So if you upgrade, this is pretty much what you can get. The bed is absolutely huge. This video is not gonna do it any justice. I was looking at this online and I thought, are you gonna roll out? There's no rolling out of it. It is absolutely massive. So this actually leads you straight onto your balcony. You've also got, I'm guessing it's anything between a 40 to 42 inch TV. You've got, all your dressing area at the back. Unfortunately, you've got me in shot as well, but really, really nice setup. Your mini bar's just inside there. So we will go around. Lovely hanging wall photos that's just inside your fridge which is your mini bar and as you can see you've got a bit of everything in there so that's lovely so I'm just gonna make my way out So you've got access to pretty much everything up here. So a 
quite large doors as you can see I've got a full 360 degree kind of view so I'm just going to try and make my way out you've also got the fly screens here as well so if you don't want your doors open you know there's nothing coming in so this is the first view as you come out now you've also got sunken jacuzzi absolutely beautiful as you can see it's not in use so they've given us a bit of time to come and film up here your view is absolutely fantastic so not only have you got the pool you've literally got the rest of the hotel beautiful view around sea there you've got your own sun lounges So there's the view of the other side of the hotel. And there is another exit or entrance back into your room. So as for a view, definitely say 360 on it, it certainly is, you've got 360 in the whole of sea day nearly. Absolutely beautiful, so I'm going to make my way back in now, and then we'll go around the other side and just show you the bathroom. So yeah, once again, that bed is absolutely massive. So you've got all your storage areas, triple wardrobe, that's your way in. You've got a nice little seating area, full length mirrors, that's your way out onto your balcony again. You've actually got his and hers sinks. Or normally, if you deal with your wife, they turn out to be hers. <laughs> so you've got separate toilet. And then a full walk-in shower. And it does have the waterfall option as well. As I say, you've got another entrance exit out onto your balcony you've got all the different options that they already have included beautiful lighting and that is your 360 degree suite so if you do get the option to upgrade, as you can see, it definitely is a beautiful option. Finishing with that absolutely massive round bed. So I'll sign off there guys, and uh, we'll move on to the next area. Right everybody, so this is just coming into our room. So here's where you drop one of your cards in just to make sure all electrics are, uh, are on. Now as you can see, that red sign there does actually tell you that you're in. So you activate your button that's just inside the door here and that shows you that you're now sleeping. If we turn that off, it then disappears. If you do want maid service, just turn that button on and that tells them that you're ready for your maid service. However, they do come every day. Uh, so when you walk in, you come straight into like your bathroom, bathroom area. So here you've got all your wardrobes, you've got your safe, 
the drawer areas, your slippers, and then goes around this side. You've got your bathroom, your towels on the bottom. You've got an air dryer as well, which is really good. So you've got a separate toilet, and once again, your shower. Uh, this also has the waterfall option as well, so cannot fault that. Just coming through, first thing when you get to is your minibar. So that is stocked every day, and you do get a, a bit of everything in there. So if you just want to drink when you get back, that's fine. The really stock water up for you as well. Uh, we were given the uh, the champagne as it was Georgina's 40th. So in here you've got your big double bed, side drawers. As I say, it's just a lovely display. Separate big couch. And then like a dressing area. Especially if you need to straighten your hair. Got all books and everything to do it. The hotel. So I cannot fault that. We've got loads of lights as well. And then straight through here and out onto the balcony. And I've got to say we have got a really good view. So, just across the way is where we were filming on the bar. And then just below that, across here, is your restaurant. That's the view that we've got. So it's great to wake up to every morning. And then You've also got right at the top, just up here, this is your 360 suite that goes all the way around. So, there's some great views. So, if you can get an hotel room that's on this side, then you do get some really good views. I think we landed quite lucky. There's your pool bar at the bottom. So hopefully that's a good insight into rooms. And I can't fault ours, ours is just a, a nice standard. Plenty of space. Uh, there's not many cha English channels uh, on the TV, but they do try and cater for a bit of everybody. Uh, so other than that, that's... Uh, that's your standard room. You've got aircon in every room. Uh, something that we've noticed uh, is it is turned off in winter periods. Uh, so you, you don't really need it. Uh, like I say, you can actually open your main door. Uh, they've got the fly screens and stuff, so you can get some cool air coming in. But other than that, that's uh, that's a standard room. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. So just back to the other side of the hotel as I said where the black doors are that actually lifts up to the other side of the hotel now we're just walking down this way into the lobby bar you've got toilets just to your left hand side here so they're pretty close to the bar when you do need them now here's Saffron this is one of your main a la carte restaurants so we will be visiting here once booked in. So we'll now continue into lobby bar and just show you in here. Now, if there's anybody who's interested in a cigar, you can buy them. They've got quite a lot of choice. Also, the way that the all-inclusive works is anything 
in this glass case is an addition but there is that much choice it's it's unreal now here's the lobby bar one thing we do like about here is everything is served in a glass and they've got every option of every glass going <laughs> I've literally started on that bottom row. I'm gonna try and get to the other side tonight. We got the typical Effie's Lager. And then just to show you, the Panora Bar does actually have its own booklet. And this is based on the drinks that they offer. So very much probably your best cocktails that you can find. And they actually give you a rundown what's on offer. I'll just tell you exactly what's in it as well. So I'll just have a look at a couple of other pages. For anybody under 18, they do have mocktails as well. And everything is actually made in front of you. And as you can see, the book is quite thick, so there is loads to it. I think we're about halfway through it at the minute. So a few more days yet just to uh, get that challenge completed. As you can hear, there's piano music in the background and there is a classic piano, beautiful. Uh, they do have music playing at night. You've got your DJ area over there. Lovely seating area. Thought Georgie and I'm gonna play some of it then. Never mind. So just at the bottom of the lobby bar, you got your doors out. Just one single door, so don't do what a lot do. I think it's a double. You don't want to be running into it. So lovely seating areas and a really good view as well. Just show you around this side. So our room is just up there. Try and find it for you. There we go. As you can see, it says 40 today. Although it was yesterday. So she's past her prime now. <laughs> <laughs> So we've noticed it looks like end of January, beginning of February. They do all the little updates. So they're just working on this wooden area, nice walkway. Got lovely designs all over. These designs up here were done by Matt Sculptor. Really. So you got more seating areas everywhere. And then, as you can see from where they're walking, they actually walk ways down onto the front, straight to the beach. So we'll make our way back in now and continue showing you around.
Palmyra restaurant is on minus one. And this is your entrance into it. You can actually walk in between both sides of the hotel. We've just got like fire exit doors. Entertainment program. And then just on here, we've got what's going off for your date. Gives you all your times and everything. And then it actually shows you what night it is, what it's based on. So you've got some good choice. So let's go in and it's time for lunch. So I'm just going to get a, a quick tour around. There is some great choice to be honest with you. There's, uh, already made sandwiches and they have some great choices if you like soup there's always two types of soup on all your different powders and herbs and whatever else you can get Everything has a signpost, so you know exactly what you're picking up. If you like the cheeses, comes with foods. On this side of the restaurant, once again, everything comes signposted and it's all sealed. Just lift it. Yeah, yeah. Grab what you want. It is self service. All freshly cooked at the back. We have everything from fish, meat. different breads, pizzas, breads, over here you've got your pasta station, so just, oh somebody's having a smashing turn, so just pick what type of pasta you want, what you want adding to it and then they freshly cook it for you, add anything with it, they don't like chilli I've noticed, all your different wines in the corner. Got quite a few different desserts. That looks absolutely amazing. Choice for desserts is unreal. I've also got a little bit here. So creme brulee, chocolate rolls. Servers are always on it as well. You've got all your salad options. They come with sauces as well, so just pick up the jug and pour it. So it's literally grab as much as you want. So your plates and stuff are just on the ends. They've actually got separate areas in here as well. So you've got a mobile fun zone, you've got an over 16 area, and then you've got the rest of the seating as well down at the back. Georgina's off for something to eat, so I'm going to log off here and catch up with you now. So just as you come walking out from restaurant, there's your two walkways, either side of the pool. So we're just walking at the side of the restaurant at a minute. And I'm 
guessing because it's end of January. That pool is way too cold for anybody to get in. But this decking looks lovely. I'm just working on it at a minute. So I did mention that there is an outdoor seating area at back at restaurant. So this is your area. As I say, very friendly stuff. So this is your outdoor seating with your pool bar. So plenty of seating out here. This is your walkway down to the beach. Now there is normally an entertainment board, but it's in which time of year there's nothing on there. Now this here is closed because at time of year, but this is Maison, your bistro lounge. Very much looks like an infinity pool as well. And I would guess this, this area will be taken up with some beds in either season. So it's 23 degrees at minute, which is lovely. Another lovely seating area inside of Maison. Alright, so there's your security just as you come in. And this is your Calipus Senate board, which you can show you a bit of everything that's going off. So there is lifeguard stations. Showing 19 degrees C. There we go. But it's still lovely and warm. I mean, check out that sky. Here's the beach. So it's a lovely long walk. Well, that's the other side I see there. And if you want to head up to Old Town as you come out from the back of the campus and Senate. Just take a right, literally follow that walk where it's about 20 minutes and that takes you to see. So we've got some views in guest relations at minute. Now just to the side of guest relations is you check in for your a la carte restaurants. So there's quite a few you can choose from. At this point in time, there is only two of the a la carte restaurants open. Uh, one which is Saffron and Lavanta. So, we're just going to show you how to actually use the system. So, I'm going to get Georgina to check us into Saffron. So, you just choose which flag. So, there we go. So, you're just popping in your room number. So, We'll let you all know where we're staying now. And then you just enter your check-in day. So we arrived at 26. Now, there's the days, so we're on today, and you can only then go two days in advance. So we're booking for Tuesday. Tells you a little bit about your dress code. So, continue. So, Saffron is closed. Now, what we were advised is if it is closed, it's usually because they may be booked up, but they could have had some cancellations. 
So what we'll do is we'll speak to Yes Relations and see if they've got any cancellations. So when you do what, just to show? So if we're going to Levanta, how many people? And then you can choose a time. time. However, she did say that you can turn up any time between 7 and 8 and it's absolutely fine. And you can even view the menu if you wish. So this is in the Italian. And it gives you it in all the different languages. But anyway, we're not going to Levanta with you, so... So, I just wanted to show you how you can book the a la carte restaurants. When you've booked it, it gives you a little slip of paper that comes out here where you're booking on. You don't need it, you just tell them your room number when you turn up anyway, but the, it just gives you a slip of paper on telling you your day that you've booked in. Right, so we shall uh, just check with guest relations now to see if Saffron's available. Catch up with you in a bit. Right, we've got a huge time to get into lift. There's only four floors, but it does actually advise you what's on them floors. So just as we come out of the lift on the ground floor, you've got indoor pool and your spa and fitness area. This way back round, you've got a Palmyra restaurant, as I say, that's all around the other side. Doctors, shops, patisserie, Levanta la carte and the meeting rooms. This is where your doctor's is. Now here's Levanta, which is the other a la carte restaurant. This is where we actually were last night. Absolutely amazing food. And one of the areas where we're actually coming to right now is the patisserie corner. So on here you've got all types of different coffees, all types of different cakes, all types of different chocolates as well. If you like macarons, loads of different flavours. And there is always something different every day. Tropical fruit mousse. Some of the pre-made sandwiches that you can get. And then in this side. There is so many different things to choose from chocolate mousse is there caramel parfait hopefully it's something good to choose from so this is le petit gâteau the patisserie we've got some of the 50th anniversary drinks. So there's ginger mint and lemonade, and there's also a roast sherbet. I've not actually tried any yet because the coffee from here is absolutely amazing. Do you want to coffee? Yeah. Now, as for ice cream lovers, we've got. Lemon ice cream, persimmon ice cream, vanilla, strawberry, pistachio, caramel, and chocolate. So everything is prepared as usual. And then just behind, you've got your hairdressers. There is a couple of uh, boutique shops down here, but just due to the season, they're not open.
also high to season again you've got your photo shop do quite a bit of everything here so once you've got your photos done head down here and get you something set up this is your seating area from the patisserie and this just actually overlooks the pool so then I'm just going to take a seat there we go there's a lot that's being made so I'll now take a seat with Georgina and enjoy your coffee catch up with you shortly area now if you could just smell a vision you'd be able to smell it as well it does smell just like a spa so there you go hammam areas in your saunas Seating area, you've got your gym, 
So the option of doing classes and things like that. So a couple of machines. This is you walk down to your indoor pool. And this rest of your gym area. So running, exercising while you're here. So you've just got a nice little pull. And then bigger area. Quite warm in here as well. Some showers in there. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Where are you from? England. Hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just been speaking to the guys and they do have quite a large list of things that you can have done. So there's special therapies and things like that. But we're going to head back up now and we'll catch up with you soon. How are you? Everything is alright? Really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have already so. made your reservation for dinner? I, um, no, we've already made it, mm -hmm. but as I say, we didn't realise the Levanta was open through the day. Oh, so, right. yeah, we, yeah. We, we will have to visit tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Until, uh, <laughs> until half four. past four. Yeah. Yeah, but it will continue as a facility. You may go coffee or cakes. Yeah. But the next service will finish half past four. Yeah. No need to reservation. You may go there anytime. Yeah. But for dinner, you know, yeah. For dinner, you have to. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll visit Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Nice so that's something we've just found out. So the a la carte Levanta is actually open through the day. Looks like you can get pasta, burgers, uh, pizza. So quite a bit of different options there as well. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. So guys, we're just going over for tea. I'm just going to show you this short cup. So it's where I was filming earlier. So rather than walking all the way around, you can just cut through here, past the pool. And as I said, you've got another emergency style door you can go in so tonight is Asia cuisine Sour, we got 
few veggies, got shrimp tempers, all your breads and your pizzas again. So they've actually got a really good choice. Sushi. Now on bottom, you've actually got sushi. A few prawn crackers as well. So it looks like there's a really good selection. Got tuna, so it's all fresh. And then if you do want some chopsticks, grab a set of chopsticks. So as for desserts, you've got quite a lot to choose from. Let's see you do. Definitely one of them places where you could try one of everything. However, you'd end up going home feeling absolutely massive. Just a few other bits. Got all your fresh fruit. Chocolate bananas. Pomegranates. One of the things that we've just noticed, although it's Asian night, you've got all your baby vegetables, mushrooms, and the colour orange. So, a really good option on Asian night. So, I hope that gives you a good insight into food and restaurant. As I said, there's a themed night every night. If you like fish, that's on a Wednesday. Uh, Italian is on a Monday. As you can see, Sunday is your Asian night. And then the other night is what's classed as a, an international. So, there's a Turkish night on a Friday. Oh, Turkish night on a Friday as well. So now we've just come up a level, we're heading into Lobby Bar. Oh, it's our good friend. Yeah. No, we we'll sit at usual. <coughs> <laughs> so I won't be honest with you, these guys are non-stop. This guy can make you a cocktail without even looking at a list. He just knows them off by heart. And they work really quick. So Georgina's just going through book. We're looking to see what she can pick. Which one are you thinking about tonight? Mm, I want to start with navigation. So if you sat away from the bar and in the nice seating area, these guys at back will come and take your order and then get put on the trays and they'll fly them out to you. So this is Sadar. Hello, how are you? Good mate, you? Very much. I have it for you. Oh, what is? Okay. 
Hello ladies. So, what are you having? Where are you from here? I can get a nice cupcake from you. What likes Can I have I would like you choose. I want something sweet, sour, fruity. Is it sour cocktail? Yeah. Special from here. Yeah. So Sadar's now gonna make something. I will go with a uh, gentleman Jack and Coke, please. Oh, <laughs> can I meet this glass? Please. And you want chips? No, thank you. Yeah, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. The man's trying to get my drill. Also, it's in uh, a metal shaker. Let's see how this comes out. As you can see, these guys just will not stop. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I like that colour. Perfection. <laughs> Next week. And there we are. What's this one called? This is the premier special. Sadar special. <laughs> Thank you. So we've just left Lobby Bar. Uh, just tried a few different cocktails. We're now on our way back up to room. Uh, just going past guest relations because they are here practically 24 7. Uh, but we're going to call it a day there. Hopefully, I've covered as much as possible. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the videos. We're off to market tomorrow to Manavgat. So, hopefully, I can try and get a bit of up there as well. So, we'll see you on the next one.